We're here with UT Dallas head coach Polly Thomason, along with players Victoria Pena, Maddie Steele. Um, just were defeated by East Texas Baptist 64 51 in the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. Uh, coach, uh, young team th this year, uh, three freshmen in the lineup, um, won the ASC East. Uh, talk about the success of the season. Well, I think we have to add uh, a sophomore and a grandma that was also in our starting lineup. Um, yeah, I, I, they surpassed all my expectations, to be perfectly honest. Um, we had no idea what this year was going to look like after graduating the players we did last season. Um, and then after our first scrimmage, I was very nervous. Uh, we did not look very good at all. Um, but I think our players uh, bought in every day, really wanted to get better for each other, really wanted to get better for our seniors so our seniors could have a great year. Um, and they just worked hard every single day, did everything we asked them to do, um, trusted what we needed them to do, whether it was something they're used to or a position, new position, it didn't matter. They just were ready to give everything they had. Um, and our freshmen were amazing as far as stepping up and being ready to play, um, not succumbing to the spotlight or the pressure of being a starter as a freshman. They just kind of played. Um, and then, you know, Steele being a great leader and Vic being a great leader and having ex both of these guys having experience um, playing for us in the past, um, they kind of took the reins of it. So it's, it, it was surprising. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, these guys are, are awesome. I love this team. I love how they play for one another. Um, it's frustrating to lose today because, you know, we're done and we don't get to be in practice on Monday. Um, we're going to miss it. But um, just I'm really pleased with the season we've had. Uh, Maddie, you played in um, two NCAA tournaments. Is that correct? Um, what do you feel looking back on your career here at UTD? I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I wouldn't take any team in this conference over the three freshmen and sophomore that I've been starting with this year, or my coaches, or the rest of this group. Uh, Victoria, you're ASC East Player of the Year um, coming back next year. Uh, what do you have to look forward to for next season? Um, I'm really looking forward to playing with the freshmen from this year and whoever comes in next year. Um, obviously, we have a good group, and moving forward, I only expect us to get better. So. Yes. Um, there are positives in every game. Uh, where was the team strength tonight? Um, you know, I felt defensively we we're, were solid. Um, I, I just don't think we needed to. I just I don't think things went the way we needed to, to defensively. Um, I thought we got some stops that we just we couldn't finish with either a rebound or um, just maybe the right call at the right time. Um, you know, I, I felt like we never stopped playing. We, we got down by 17. You know, we, we still rallied, we still kept fighting, and uh, got it into sing single digits. Um, we just couldn't overcome that hump um, at the end. But I think that just our team plays with heart, you know, and we can get we get frustrated, every team does, but we didn't keep that from us continuing to do what we needed to do. You know, we, we didn't let that defeat us, um, and that's just our character. I think that goes to every single player in our locker room, um, the kind of people they are, and uh, I love that about them. Um, and how does game, tonight's game compare to the game last weekend against East Texas? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't remember. <laughs> a lot has happened between now and then. <laughs> uh, it, it feels the same, though. Um, can you comment on that fourth period offense? Because they did break a lot of ground. And... Yeah, I think we just did a better job of moving the ball, um, not taking quick shots. Um, and then our shots just really started to fall. I thought we attacked a little bit better and got to the foul line, which led to you know some easy points for us. But um, I think it, r it really started with our defense. We were getting stops, we were getting deflections, we were getting breakaways, um, and we couldn't get that in the first half for whatever reason. So um, our defense always leads to our offense, and I think that's where we got our, mo our energy and our excitement is when we got those deflections and we got those turnovers. Mm -hmm. um, and to kind of sum up, where does the team go from here? Well, to be honest, I think we're going to celebrate this season. Um, I don't. I, we're not going to look forward to next year just yet. Uh, we've got a great group of seniors that we're going to finish the year out. And you know, Maddie's already walked, but you know, she's got a master's degree to walk for. <laughs> um, and just kind of let them enjoy the rest of the the, the school year as a team. Um, you know, we won't be in practice, but we still have you know opportunities to get together as far as our sports banquet and our end of the year team gathering. You know, just little things like that. We're still going to enjoy each other. Um, and then once uh, summer starts, hopefully our returners will, will feel, use this as a motivation and fuel for their workouts to get better and uh, work on the things that they're weak at. So 
uh, we have a different outcome next season. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.